This past year, I've had the opportunity to do multiple workshops covering topics like Active Directory and cybersecurity. And one thing that I've always struggled with is putting together some type of initial presentation. I'm just not a fan of PowerPoint. I wasn't a fan of Harvard graphics back in college either. But I found a package that helps with this quite a bit. So if we hop over here, what you're looking at is actually the presentation that I displayed at the last Active Directory workshop that I did. And it is just what it looks like. It's a text file. If we take a look at my script for it, it's just a shell script, throw some colors in. And that's kind of what I showed. And I guess you could say that's kind of phoning it in, but I, it got the point across, didn't take up a lot of time. But I'm working on a presentation for an upcoming cybersecurity demo that hopefully we'll be able to do at least virtually. And let me show you what I've come up with for that. Let me make it full screen. So this is what my presentation is going to look like that I'm working on now. And we're going to be going over a cybersecurity topic of abusing default Active Directory protocols. I'll just kind of run through my slides here real quick. So that looks pretty cool. And let's take a look at what that file looks like. So I'm using the application sent from suckless.org. It's a very small, lightweight application that will just basically take text and images from a file that I create and auto-generate a nice presentation on the fly. So to get my images, I just did those in GIMP and I can lay them out. Um, I'm, for me, I can work much better in GIMP than I can PowerPoint, anything else like that. I've, I've used GIMP for years and I'm real comfortable with it. So for my slides that needed some graphics, I just made them in GIMP really quick with a transparent background. So if we hop over and look at my config for Scent, I made two modifications before I compiled it, and that's just changing the foreground and the background color. So if I want to change my text color or my background color, I just change it in the config file, recompile it really quick, and I'm good to go. So if we hop over and take a look at suckless.org, you can find it under Tools and Scent. And it's kind of neat if you come down and take a look at their features, non-features. That's a pretty interesting read, especially the last line. I really like that. You put too much content in and we're going we're gonna to intentionally break it to prevent you from holding a bad presentation. I think that's pretty cool. But anyway, this is just a real quick video. Just wanted to, to show this. Um, I find it very, very useful. It may be something you can do to when you need to have a presentation on the fly really quick. This is this is really fast and easy to use. So hope you found this informative. Thank you for watching.